Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Zero 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, you know, this is a continuation series of my Armand backup and restore scenarios where uh, in our previous sessions and previous videos, we have seen Armand backup and different uh, backup methods and strategies and then how we can take uh, a backup of your standalone database and how you can take your backup of ASM Oracle restart service database or you know, the same thing is applicable for Oracle Rack database as well. So, and also we have seen uh, uh, the first restore scenario uh, uh, how to restore your database in case of if you lose your uh, you know all data files so this one we we have seen it for standalone database so in this today's session we will see it oracle restart asm database so how you can uh, restore in case of you know if you lose all your data files which are inside my disk groups so I'm going to demonstrate that one. So the commands are same, but the only uh, the database is running on ASM. So these are the commands we have already checked it, and also we have seen uh, you know restoring until SCN, restoring until sequence number, and restoring until the restore point, and you know restoring uh, until the sys date. Uh, all these scenarios we have seen in our uh, seen in our standalone database. So we will check it in uh, my ASM uh, Oracle Restart Service database as well. Quickly we will see it, and then uh, once we done with the, this particular demonstration, we will go with the loss of control file. How you can restore your database? That we will see it in a minute. So before that, we will start this uh, particular scenario on my Oracle ASM Restart Service. So before I start with this practical lab session, if you are new to my channel, always go back to YouTube and search for Malik034 and then please do subscribe. If you like my videos, always you know, uh, don't forget to click share and like and comment on those videos. And uh, you know, if you uh, missed out my previous videos, you can always refer all those videos will be available in my YouTube channel. Okay, let's start with the uh, today's uh, you know, demonstration. So I already connected to my Oracle restart service here. I have my ASM and then I have data is created on top of that ASM and if I go to ASM CMD LSDG so I have my data FR and Rico and I can go to my Oracle user I can connect to my database this DBA archive log list okay it's in archive log mode DB recovery file set and show parameter recovery you can see it is set to FRA and uh, I will check it out uh, my just to have my SP file okay SP file is pointed in my data disk group and just to check my control file name I have my control file which is on uh, data disk group and let's uh, check it out uh, data files okay all my data files are in my uh, you know data disk group and some files are in record disk group okay fine so i will quickly connect to our main target slash our main target slash okay so it connected to my dev database and uh, list backup I already explained about how to read backups and uh, and you know uh, this particular backup piece is pointing to whether archaeal logs or data files or you know SP files all this you know backup piece you know how to read this and what is the size and you know what this backup set is about archaeal log or you know your uh, uh, control file or SP file all in my previous session I already explained how to read your backup piece how to read this backup information everything I covered so I have my couple of backups here so let's start with the uh, restore scenarios so what I'll do I will quickly go into my ASM uh, as we saw our data files are pointed inside my uh, uh, data disk group right so yeah here it is all this is my data disk group I'll go into my data disk group okay CD LS okay so I'm going to remove this RM star yes okay so uh, currently not supported currently being accessed so what i'll do i will uh, shut down my asm first or i'll shut down my database sq plus set immediate
okay my db is down now so now pwd rm star s yes. you can see all data files are deleted ls l all data files were deleted now cd plus data lsdg see uh, i mean to say like data disk group is available but all that uh, uh, dev db inside that you know it has gone now so now if you do pwd you are inside data and then if you check it out dev db is here and then go inside and you know uh, uh, all these particular files where you are looking right okay all this data dev db so all these files were you know got deleted the small letter dev db right so that all got deleted now so now there's a one more file inside record disk group so i'll go inside that particular record disk group ls so i can see user ls hyphen l i can remove rm star s ls you can see it got deleted now so i'll just exit now okay now i have uh, removed all my data files so i will not be able to do any operations here see my database i will try to connect i will try to connect to my database now startup you can see it will read sp file and it will start my instance and it will read my control file and it will mount my database see database mounted and it is unable to open my database since you know uh, it did not able to find any of my data file like system sysox undo user example you know any of the data file it will not be able to read and it will throw an error message like vora 101157 cannot identify or log the data file one and then this is a data file name so you know uh, my data files are got uh, deleted now so now we will follow the same uh, commands like you know uh, first uh, you know uh, start your uh, database uh, startup no mount i did already in alter database mount already database is mounted you can simply uh, type command restore database i'll go back our man target slash see connected to my uh, dev db i'll do restore database see using a target database control file instead of recovery catalog i already explained what is this control file and what is this recovery catalog uh, you can have your backup information in control file or recovery catalog database you can see reading backup piece it is reading my backup piece from fra uh, disk group and then once uh, it has restore and will do recover and then alter database open okay restore finished and will do recover database and you can see it is reading this particular uh, backup piece and these are the archival logs it is applied and finished the recovery and then alter database open See database opened, and you can query for the same thing. Select name from Vidala database at your uh, SQL plus. You can see, you can see all the data files are restored, and you can see user data file were uh, restored into my data disk group because that the backup was taken when the user data file was on my data disk group, and later I moved my user data file from data disk group to record disk group. as part of one of my uh, you know lab session i just uh, moved data file from uh, user data file from uh, you know data disk group to record disk group and then uh, you know this backup was taken before uh, moving that data file so now that you can see user data file is restored to my uh, data disk group okay so uh, i have done with this particular scenario and also as i explained like you know you can use uh, uh, restore database check read only restore database check read only if any read only table space are available those uh, will be uh, restored restore check for read only restore database check for read only you can see failure uh, while well, uh, you know 
because you know re uh, restoring this particular data file already my data files is uh, uh, restored and it is already in open mode uh, error while restoring uh, uh, the backup is this particular backup is cannot uh, you know obtain or exclusive uh, you know lock on this particular data file because my database is already in open mode and it is in running state so to uh, run any of your restore command uh, or recovery command your database should be in uh, you know uh, mount mode at least right so it should not be in open mode uh, we will just uh, shut it down shut immediate no, I'm not going to explain much about these things because uh, all these commands I already explained uh, in my in my previous uh, uh, video where uh, uh, I explained all these commands in details and we did all these recovery scenarios uh, for my standalone database. So the same concept applies in case of your Oracle Restart ASM database or your uh, Oracle React database. So that's why you know I'm just uh, uh, executing all these commands and then you know uh, showing how it works in case of Oracle Restart or Oracle React database. Uh, startup mount. Okay, startup mount. Okay, database instance started and. Uh, database mounted okay so i'll connect to Armin now and we'll do that uh, recover restore database check read only okay reading from this particular backup piece and you know it, it will try to restore and then it will try to restore if if in case any read only table space uh, are backed up in this in that particular backup piece and again temporary table space it will skip and uh, temporary table space attempt data files attempt segment will be created when uh, uh, there's a necessary of temporary table space uh, or when you start your uh, instance so if you have a tag like weekly backup and uh, you can restore database using that that particular tag and uh, if i do list backup i'll just check it out whether i have a tag i hope i'll not be having any tag so these all are like uh, uh, tag uh, you can use this particular tag and then you can restore it so i will just check it out if i have any uh, incremental level one and uh, incremental level zero let me see okay incremental level zero i have here and this is a particular tag so i'll try to restore it to till this particular tag okay this is a tag i just uh, copied here i will use that particular command restore database from the tag i will mention that particular tag and the tag is this one right so already all my data files were restored so if you defined your own tag while taking a backup you can use that particular tag to restore your data file right so now already all the data files were restored so nothing to restore here and then you know you can use the restore until scn number you can get the scn number from your backup information or you, you can read your alert log and you can get the latest scn number so you can see all this scn number and i can see i will go to level zero backup uh where is that level zero backup is here and this is my scn number you can use this particular scn number or after that it has taken this uh, uh arca lock and you can use this particular scn number this is uh, uh 920 and this is 914 i can use this particular scn number restore database until scn number you can see all data files were restored nothing to restore here and uh, restore until sequence numbers if you have your, if you know your sequence number again you will get it from your backup information list backup you can go and this is your uh, level zero and you know uh, this is the backup is 19 and uh, this is sequence number 19 right so you can use this sequence number 19 here so instead of 17 it's just example you can use 19 Again, this sequence number you can get it from your standby database, or you know you can reading by alert log. You can get it, and if you know your sequence number, you can uh, directly go for restore database until sequence number, or you can use uh, uh, restore point like you know uh, if you have your restore point already showed restore point, you can here to create your guarantee restore point like cre create restore point and restore point name, 
and create restore point uh, no restore point name and guarantee flashback database and th this first particular command is for normal restore point and this second one is for guarantee restore point so guarantee restore point is uh, it's a guarantee that you know at any circumstance at any case any case if your database uh, uh, crashes or if you have uh, the space crunch issue in your location and uh, you know uh, you are unable to create a flashback log your database will go uh, freeze or it will go uh, you know uh, about and you know it will it will give a guarantee that you can restore up to this this particular before guarantee restore point and if you are having uh, this uh, uh, normal restore point in case uh, database crash or you know in case of space issue in your fr location you sometimes you may not be able to restore it to till this particular uh, uh, the restore point that is why you know this guarantee restore points uh, plays very very important role when you are uh, working with your database upgradations or database migrations okay right so what happened uh, until sequence number is also done and as i said like you can use this uh, restore point i already showed uh, and explained also in my previous video you can refer it i will not going to show it here and you can go for uh, restore database until uh, uh, sys date if you try with the sys date and if you have any particular backup on today it will uh, restore it if it don't find any backup and it will throw an error so if you can see here reading this particular backup is and uh, you know with the sil till sys date it will it will go to uh, restore my database and if i have uh, taken backup yesterday you can use uh, sys date minus 1 or if you can taken database two days back you can go sys date minus 2 and then you know until that time it will uh, try to restore your database okay it has restored till today because i have the backup this date minus one if i try it out okay uh, no backup copy found for that if i go with the sys date minus two also i will not be able to find any backup okay no backup found right uh, so this these are the different scenarios you can check it out okay fine then so i will stop this particular uh, restore sessions here uh, you know the, the point here is uh, uh, i did uh, all the restore let me recover database uh, re recover database recover database okay uh, database has recovered now so these are the alkalogs 21 22 23 it's applied here now and then uh, i'll try to open it alter database all right was open okay so these are the uh, basic uh, you know restore scenarios so we seen it for our standalone database in my previous videos and now we have seen it for our uh, asm database uh, now uh, you know uh, i will stop this particular video here and then i will start the new session on the restoring of your database uh, in case of uh, lost your uh, control file so when you uh, lose your control file and when you restore your control file you have to open your database with the reset logs you know when you do the reset log your new incursion will starts and all your uh, you know database backups are become invalid so you have to be very very careful when you are opening your database with the reset logs okay your database is open now here so let's see i will uh, come up with uh, new scenarios in my uh, next session guys uh, thank you